when considering your venues, you need to discuss exactly how far apart the ceremony and the reception end up being. Think about your time frame. If you've got a 4.30 ceremony and you'd like to have a 5 o'clock reception, you definitely want to keep the venues close together, preferably within about five minutes of each other. Or, if at all possible, keep it all in one space. You may have dreamt of the perfect outdoor wedding in the perfect outdoor setting. If you're going to have a spring wedding, then you need to be aware of what your weather elements in your city are in the spring, in, you know, as well as in the summer and the fall. If you're living in, say, Texas, an outdoor wedding in July might not be optimal. If you're living in, say, Wisconsin, an outdoor wedding in mid-February may not be optimal. If you're having an outdoor wedding, it's important that you have a plan B that consists of whether your reception site can then hold maybe the ceremony indoors or whether you will have a tent available. Diane Lester, Social Events Coordinator at the Cooper Guest Lodge Hotel and Spa, and I've been in the wedding industry for six years. I'd like to talk to the bride about contracts and attrition clauses. Be sure that you understand exactly what your contract is saying. If there is an attrition clause, be sure that you understand this clause. Let's say that you tell your coordinator you are going to have 100 guests and this is written in the contract and the attrition clause is 90%. This means that if you call with your final guaranteed number and say that you have 85 guests coming, you will actually be paying for 90 because that is 90% of your 100 guests originally written in the contract. And sometimes brides do not understand this and that is something that you do really need to watch out for. Wedding packages can all be different, so be sure that you understand what is included in yours. Does it include your cake knife and server, your toasting glasses, your guest book, your garter, or will you need to provide these things? If you are having your reception at a hotel, is the bridal suite included? Are there any special perks that are being provided for you? Each establishment will have their own specialties for you to consider. And that is what makes each one different and unique. When you have gone out and selected your venues, go ahead and look over those contracts very carefully. When vendors, any vendors, write their contracts for their clients, they are protecting their own interests. Yes, they'll look out for you as well, but you need to make sure your interests are completely covered. Especially in photography, you might be hiring the studio, which is wonderful. You may have a wonderful studio that you're hiring. However, you need to make sure in your contracts that the studio is not only listed as the principal photographer, you need to make sure you know which photographer is coming to your wedding. 